it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. I wanted to show you what I picked up at Aldi today. This is day 11 of the hashtag Three Rivers Challenge. And these are some things that I needed to grab, and I wanted to show you what I got. Now, I did purchase some cat, some food for my cats, and uh, my little dog, and those items are not included in on this grocery haul slash forage. <laughs> All right. Um, I got some hot dogs. These are for the freezer. They were 99 cents. The um, corn, yellow corn tortillas were, uh, let me see. A dollar and 95 cents I believe I needed some garlic powder and some minced onion these were 99 cents each the salmon I was kind of hungry for some fish and I thought well I'll make this up into patties and that'll last me for a while I can eat off of that for a while the salmon was three dollars and 29 cents uh, the sugar was a little over three dollars but I'm almost out of sugar uh, and I didn't have any in the pantry uh, the eggs were $1.85 the uh, pork sausage was two dollars and 39 cents the rice let me see the just regular old white rice was two dollars and 65 cents the cheese, I had absolutely no cheese whatsoever, so I got a block of mozzarella and a block of extra sharp cheddar. They were $1.99 each, and uh, this sliced singles was, I believe, $1.89. So, that's it. I spent a total of $23.40 on these items, not including the items um, I bought for my pets. I want to show you, I did film a video for the 10th day of the challenge yesterday. And um, yesterday I was Murphy's girl because anything that could go wrong did go wrong on that video. So the video is not being posted. <laughs> but I did want to show you, I made uh, three pans of cinnamon rolls. Now, the reason you only see two pans is because one of the pans burned. And um, I don't know if any of you have ever tried to film a video where you're making yeast dough of any kind um, by hand. No machine. It does become tedious to film and various things went wrong. And the third pan, uh, which I would have had um, 27 rolls altogether, the third pan burnt. Uh, I salvaged what I could out of it, but there wasn't really that much to salvage. So, anyway, I've got two pans of homemade cinnamon rolls. Um, a couple of these will come out so that I can enjoy them today. And then the rest of them are going to go in the freezer. I will, I'm going to individually pack at least one pan of these. And then the other pan can go in whole. I'm fine with that. So I did try, I did try, but when you're Murphy's girl, sometimes you just have to say, well, okay, that is just the way that it is. I did want to give you a little quick update on my sprouts. This is the fifth day for the sprouts. Uh, according to the directions on the Zesty Sprouting Mix package, which by the way, is uh, clover, fenugreek, and radish, radish seeds. That's why it's zesty. Um, the instructions say to put a couple of tablespoons in a jar, container, etc. And then you uh, keep them in a dark spot for about four days. Rinse, soak them on the first day and then rinse them and uh, every day, twice a day for the next four days and then set them out in indirect sunlight where they can green up. And so you can see they're starting to green up. I took them out yesterday. So now they are starting to green up. 
I just want you to see how many sprouts you can get out of two tablespoons of seeds. Now, you see these hulls there? That's what those are. Those are hulls, and that is what is uh, the sprouts sprout out, out of. That is the hull of the seed that is left. So, um, probably one more day or so of greening up, and I will be able to eat these. So, they've been rinsed this morning, and they will get rinsed again this evening. Okie doke, since it is day 11 of the pantry challenge, I'm going to make some chili in my small crock pot. Now, I don't have any more soup made, and I finished the cheddar uh, broccoli vegetable soup. So, I like to keep a little bit of soup in the refrigerator, in some canning jars if I can. It makes a good meal. Soup is probably one of the cheapest things you can make. So I'm going to make some chili using my pantry items and stick around and I'll show you that. Okay, all I put in this crock pot was a four ounce patty of hamburger. I don't really care that much if I have meat in my chili. Um, it doesn't it doesn't matter that much to me. Now I've got a couple of jars of tomato juice here that I canned this past season, thanks to my daughter and son-in-law's garden. <laughs> so I make chili soup. Um, when my husband used to make chili, he would make it thick. He liked it thick, because that's how his mom made it. I liked mine soupy, more soup, because that's how my mom made it. <laughs> so, we, when he made it, we had it his way, and when I make it, we had it my way. Here is a jar of pinto beans. These are unseasoned except with a little salt. I've got two pint jars here and as you can see they were canned in 22. So these are going to go in. As with all home canned goods, check your seal and make sure that they smell good. You want to do that. This is the smaller of my two crock pots and it is actually, it's going to make a lot of soup. It's not a teeny tiny crock pot. I was going to put two cans of tomatoes in here, but it's getting a bit full. I think I'm just going to go with, maybe I'll just go with one can. Now these are uh, stewed tomatoes from Aldi, and these are large, I mean they're sliced large. They're not whole, but they are sliced large. And read your labels because there is a difference between stewed tomatoes and tomatoes that are not stewed. See the size of the tomato? Uh, these will break down, I think, as they cook. And if they don't, I'll, I'll break them down with a fork or whatever. Remember that homemade Santa Fe blend I made? Well, I'm going to put a cup of that in with the chili. It has onions, peppers, corn, and black beans. Now, why am I using this when I have some of the Dollar Tree Santa Fe blend left? The reason I'm using this is because the, the, what I have left from the Dollar Tree has red peppers in it, and 
I might like to use that in some rice or something where I can actually see and enjoy the red peppers. <laughs> and I have some minced onion left in this jar, so I'm going to put that in as well. I don't generally put garlic in my in my chili. It's just not something I usually do. So I've got some chili powder here. I'll put a couple of tablespoons in there. Give it a stir. And then I'm going to put it inside the crock pot because this is just the crock. <laughs> it's not the pot. And I'm going to put it on high. It's actually about 1.30 in the afternoon, but you know, essentially almost all the ingredients in here are pretty much cooked. And if they're not, they will be shortly. So, when it's done, we'll come back and take a look at it and I'll show you what I have. As if chili would be a surprise. It really isn't, but... I'll, sh I'll show it to you anyway, and we'll give it a taste. Okie dokie. It's been several hours. Let's see what we've got. That looks pretty good. Now remember, I like my chili to be soup. Chili soup. <laughs> I think that looks nice. I'm going to dish up a little bit of it so I can take a taste. And just so you know, while we were away, or while you were away, I put some salt and pepper in here as well. Okay, <laughs> let's taste it. Okay, I already know what it's going to taste like, but let's taste it anyway. Good. Mmm, that's really good. I kind of think I could have put another jar of pinto beans in this. And I can always do that at any point in time if I want to. But it's nice and soupy. The reason I like it soupy is because I like to put soda crackers in it. I like to put saltines in it. Because it's really good that way. Mmm. Good. I always put a little more chili powder in my bowl of soup. Do you do that? I do. But not everybody likes it that way. Now, I scrubbed out these jars because I'm going to put it in these jars right away. After I put it in the jars, we'll come back and I'll show you exactly how much I was able to glean from this soup. And this will go in the refrigerator for the rest of the week, for the weekend, and I'm sure in the next week as well. So come back, I'll show you. Okay, here we go. Got two quarts and two pints so there's got three quarts of chili soup i'm very happy with that and i was able to use a lot of what was in my pantry because don't forget those beans were from 2022 <laughs> okay all right that's it for me today i love you guys you know i do i hope you know that little is much when God is in it. Okay? All right. Put down in the comments what you think, what you're doing today, if you're participating in the Three Rivers Challenge. Be sure and let me know because I like to click on that and go find you. And um, 
Let me know how you like your chili. Do you like it thick or do you like it soupy? Do you like it with beans or you don't like it with beans? Do you eat it without meat? People eat chili a lot of different ways I'm discovering. Okay, I love ya. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.